like when I actually went on my first shooting ever, um, things got a little bit more serious and you're kind of on high alert. Morgan Henderson runs towards the danger. Her job description is to do whatever she can to help save someone's life. My partner is just like, let's get the ballistics on. Let's just take a couple of deep breaths. Before asking somebody to go into an unsafe situation, we're going to give them the vest. They're going to give them that extra layer of protection. Guilford County is one of three in the triad with bulletproof vests. Emergency Medical Services has 250. Rockingham County got 40 in 2014. And most recently, Forsyth County leaders purchased 80. You know, we have seen an uptick in, uptick in people wearing the vest. Emergency crews in the county have wanted them for a while. They often encounter more than patients on their calls. Maybe we were there for an. Uh, for a nonviolent issue, we're there for a medical issue, but weapons were there. Uh, just the increase in violence uh, over the past few years. Some providers wear their vest on every shooting call they run, every stabbing call they run. Uh, we have some providers that wear it the entire shift just because that's where they feel comfortable in it. In the past year, Morgan has worn hers three times. Twice for shootings, the third because someone threatened an ambulance crew. A provider in High Point who was sitting at a stoplight who a vehicle pulled up on. Um, so I got out of that vehicle with a gun and started making threats and people would be, people would have gripes against law enforcement. Hey, I can affect them by affecting other public safety entities. So if I target fire or I target EMS, that will get a law enforcement response. Our job being out in the open first can be safe, safe but it can also just be dangerous, like automatically.